Yo, what's going on people? Guns blazing back at it again, bring you a level 40 serious Chaz farming deck. And honestly, he's not a problem to farm as long as you're using that Dark Pally. If you don't have a Dark Paladin, I strongly suggest you pick one up because it's not only useful for this guy to farm, but for a lot of other legendary duelists, and you only need one copy to run the deck really. The optimal skill is dual standby, but we don't have access to that since he's in GX world only, so the best GX world skill is restart. I'm not using restart here because all my restart users are already level 40, so I'm just trying to get XP on my other characters that are not level 40 yet. Anyways, it's a pretty straightforward deck, so let's hop straight into some replays. As you can see here, I got the fusion right off the bat, and really that's all you need to do. Just fuse out into your Dark Paladin as soon as possible, and you should be good to go. Now, if you're wondering why Sinister Serpent is in this deck, uh, actually it's not really necessary. It just feels kind of cool that you have something to discard for your Dark Paladin, and then you can use it as a renewable resource. But the thing about Chaz is he doesn't even have that many spells that you need to negate, so uh, Sinister Serpent is not really that needed. That's a free slot that you can use for anything, maybe a safety card, maybe another fusion substitute, up to you. This is the only spell that you really need to negate with your Dark Pally, which is Lightning Vortex because it will destroy all the monsters that you control. Anyways, notice that I'm not attacking into any of his monsters. I believe that attacking into monsters is a waste of time on your farms if you're already guaranteed 8,000 points. In this event, you also have a 1,000 dual assessment bonus. That's probably going to last for most of the event, so you don't need to worry about getting extra points by attacking into monsters. Plus, he has this trap card called Chthonian Blast, which pops if you attack into one of his face-up monsters. Here you can see that I set up a Tribute Summon by setting my Crystal Seers and then flipping them. He does not attack into your face downs because your Dark Paladin will be too high attack and he gets kind of scared. Fucking. This is not really necessary since we do have two Union Attacks, but if you only have one Union Attack, then this is a route that you can take. But as I said, even just one Dark Paladin on the board will be fine because Chaz's Dragons do boost him up over 5,000 attack. Now, I have full finishing combo here, which is Gravekeepers, two Unions, and Secret Pass. I do recommend that as soon as your Dark Paladin is high enough that you do finish him off, even if you don't have zero cards left in your deck because you're going to get 8,000 points anyway. I don't do that here, which uh, kind of puts me in a scary situation because he uses give and take to put a monster on my field, which will screw up the farm if he doesn't get it off because I have no room for my Vassal, but turns out he attacks the monster anyways. And I'm thinking that he only does these shenanigans with a give and take on the final turn, so I suggest that you finish him off before your deck hits zero cards. Anyways, there you go, full combo. Gravekeeper's Vassal, Double Union Attack, Secret Pass. You already know the drill. And as you can see, the farm gets well over 8,000 points. So again, do not worry about attacking into monsters for extra points. And don't even worry about getting your deck to zero cards, as long as you already have the full combo, to get your Gravekeeper's Vassal over 10,000 attack and attack directly. Just gonna show another one using the Fountain to Win version. Again, use Restart if you have it. I don't have Restart, so I'm forced to keep this trash hand, but it's gonna work out anyways because Crystal Seer is pretty good at, you know, uh, making decks consistent. I strongly suggest you have three of her for these, for these type of farming decks. Because as you can see, the starting hand wasn't all that great, but Crystal Seer managed to pick up two cards, and although I don't need either of these, I need a Fusion Substitute. Uh, it makes it so that I don't draw into these cards in my draw phase, since the other card is sent to the bottom of the deck. Arm Dragon level 7 is out now, but don't worry about it too much because it can't actually destroy your Dark Paladino. Your Dark Paladin will have more than enough attack to not be able to be destroyed by Arm Dragon level 7's effect. I managed to pick up the fusion material monster that I need, and this was probably made possible due to the fact that King of the Swamp and Crystal Seer do help you thin out your deck a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and set these Crystal Seers now so that I can flip them up, get some card draws, and then I can tribute them off later. I'm going to go ahead and negate that Lightning Vortex, uh, drop my Sinister Serpent. Again, you don't really need Sinister Serpent. Uh, if you want to replace it in this deck, I suggest just go for another Poly. And that allows you to get another uh, Poly that you can search out with your King of the Swamp. If you want to, you know, speed things up a little bit. So yeah, you get a Buster Blade or Tribute Summoned out. It's not really necessary, you can just, you know, not set Crystal Seers at all and then just get your second Fusione off, but it's all up to you. 
I'm gonna get my second fusion now. You only need one union attack for this version. I think I accidentally put in two. This was my first farm, but yeah, only one union attack needed. I do have full combo right here. So again, if you already have full combo, go for it as soon as you can. Don't bother waiting for the deck to run out of cards. There's that second union attack. It's not going to be needed. Uh, again, one union attack is enough to get your vassal over 10,000 attack. This change to the deck list is already made on the right hand side, so you'll correctly see only one union attack in the deck list. Anyways, here's that final combo. There you go, this is going to be overkill. Actually, you can, you can choose. You can choose either just one union attack or only having one monster out and then having two union attacks. But anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this farming video and hope you get some good farms. This is Guns Blazing, signing out.